What's going on everybody? This is Kevin with Exploring with KNC and today I'm delivering a promise that I've been promising you for months. We're going to do a walk around on my brother's awesome Jeep. Uh, what's the name of your Jeep? Uh, Jeep. <laughs> Jeep One? Yeah, it's I right. told him I thought adult supervision required would be a cool name. But it's, it's, it's not a purse poodle, man. It doesn't need a name. It's, it's a Jeep, man. There's, there's nothing better. Uh, you, you can't you can't denigrate Jeep. Like that is that's won two world wars and countless other combats. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start this off talking about the armor. What you got going on for this front bumper here? Okay. Well, this is the uh, Smitty built XRC, and I know way now way back in the day when uh, when I was coming up, uh, Smitty built was uh, the standard. Um, everybody had the the tube roll bars. You, if, if you grew up in the '60s, '70s, '80s, you remember the tube roll bars. That was Smitty built. And uh, they kind of got a bad reputation. Uh, they moved a lot of their stuff offshore, uh, but uh, the quality of their stuff is coming back. You know, kind of nice. like Harbor Freight. Um, so this is the XRC. I have had this bumper on for probably six years, or no, probably seven years. Uh, it, it's just been flawless. Um, I can't, uh, I can't say anything bad about it. Um, just to start off with, though, this is a 2013 JKU. Um, it was a sport version. Uh, we got the sport because we knew we were going to be making upgrades. Anything that would have been Rubicon is long gone. Uh, I mean, there's there's not much Jeep left in this beauty, but uh, you know the body. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, right here we have the uh, X20, um, 10,000 pound Smitty Belt winch. Uh, same thing, man. The the, the quality uh, um, uh, I cannot complain about. It has uh, pulled me out of a river. It has saved countless Jeeps uh, from uh, uh, bad situations. Uh, and synthetic line looks synthetic like. Synthetic line. Uh, we have a factory 55 clavis on the end there um, to hook up. We use soft shackles nice. now, nowadays, so uh, everything's soft shackle. Okay. Uh, the MPF uh, lights, he's, uh, here B makes these. Uh, halogen. Uh, I haven't I haven't changed these over to LEDs yet, just because they work so good, and I, I kind of awesome. like them. Well, as long as they cert, you know get the job done. Yeah, that's all that matters. Okay. All right. So moving on to uh, what you got for rock sliders on the. Oh, rather let's go down underneath and. Oh, you don't have your rock. You don't have your uh, Under Armour on. So no, the uh, on the Under Armour um, we had to uh, take it off. Uh, we ship this down to Motec down in Vegas, and they do some special stuff. And uh, so the the, the rock, uh, all all of the Under Armour, I haven't put back on yet uh, because I have to reconfigure it. And we'll talk about that special stuff here in, yeah. a, in a minute. Um, PSC, uh, that's a um, uh, hydraulic ram. Uh, that uh, is, it just works beautifully. I have the uh, PSC uh, big bore steering box that goes with it as well and uh, you can turn these 40s on the asphalt uh, just one finger it's just amazing nice very very cool so as far as the under armor goes are you still rocking steel or are you doing aluminum i i don't know yet um advanced engineering makes a great product that is aluminum and it's backed by a, a delrin um uh, kind of almost like a teflon uh to slide over the rocks uh, you just do that for weight? Do it for weight. Uh, right now, as she sits, it's, it's 6,000 pounds, uh, the Jeep, by itself. Uh, and that's so without your skid plates underneath? That's without the skid plates. So okay. you know, every pound every pound that you can shave off is um, um, desirable. Okay. Let's talk about what you got for rock sliders. I think these are absolutely sick. So Rock Slide Engineering makes uh, these drop-down steps. And this is a two-piece. Uh, the the uh, the outside of this it kind of pops on there like a phone cover. Um, the um, it protects these from the rocks. And you open it up. Nice. Steps down, and it, I tell you what, with 40s and with a four-inch lift, it it really really helps uh, old guys with bad knees. That's kind of like me. <laughs> That's great. Awesome. All right, so let's move on to uh, what you got for a rear bumper. So uh, um, right now we have a bumper delete, a rear bumper delete uh, for for many years. Well, the uh, the front bumper and the back bumper I bought at the same time, and it had a tire carrier. It carried fuel cans. It carried the jack. It carried everything. All my antenna mounts. 
uh, and we're, we were going a little bit different direction with it. Uh, so I put on an Ace Engineering uh, bumper delete. It still bolts into the frame uh, for good anchor points for recovery. Um, and uh, I think that's a Kurt uh, trailer hitch um, that uh, just, this is amazing. It's bulletproof. We love it to death. This one here. Very cool. We'll talk about your trailer in another video. Very, very cool. You don't want to miss that one. All right, let's move on to uh, suspension. Okay, uh, if you want to talk about the suspension first, the um, the axles, um, let's just start with that. These are one ton Terraflex, or Terra 60s is what they call them. Uh, Terraflex makes them. Uh, the reason I kept the, uh, the reason I went with Terraflex and these Terra 60s is because I kept the five on five bolt pattern and I had just bought these uh, beadlock wheels and I didn't want to buy another set of wheels. Um, so I can still use my 5x5 Method 105s uh, and they bolt right onto this. Now the, uh, the shocks themselves are a Falcon 3.3 uh, adjustable suspension so you can tune your suspension to uh, whatever road condition you really want. Awesome. Now uh, with, along with the um, that combination if you see from here, I have replaced uh, the uh, the links to a long arm link. Um, so it's the uh, Terraflex Alpine four inch um, long arm link, or long arm suspension kit, front and back. Long arm link there and in the back as well. So really, uh, um, the advantage is it really improves your uh, ride condition and uh, your, the flexibility, uh, the, the whole geometry of uh, how your suspension works. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's move on to uh, your rims and your tires. Okay, so these uh, uh, these are Method 105 bead locks. Uh, I really don't have any complaints with them. Um, they have just held up like a champ. As you saw uh, in another video, I installed monster valves from Power Tank uh, to air up and air down, uh, which it really improves uh, the speed of, uh, of doing those evolutions. Now this is a Cooper SST Pro Tire uh, Discovery. Um, we were going to get Nittos on here, but uh, Nittos weren't available. Um, they were they were months and months out. Is that because of the pandemic? Yeah, it was because of the pandemic. The whole supply chain was broken, so we ended up uh, um, finding a set of Coopers, and we went with that. Awesome. Now, uh, one other thing, uh, as far as suspension goes, is I have uh, the, the sway bar disconnects. Uh, this one is a dual-rate TerraFlex uh, suspension with a turn of a knob. You can uh, change it from street mode to uh, off-road mode. Um, and that, that really gives you flexibility in your front suspension. Nice, very cool. All right, um, and what do, what do you got going for your headlights here? Oh, these Those. are, these are uh, oh, that, that mm, JW speaker. These first came out years and years ago. This is an Evolution 2. Um, it's a, a projection. Um, the JW speakers on the rear as well, uh, and they were way more expensive than I would even care to uh, tell you. <laughs> so JW for the headlights yeah, and, and the tail lights. And the tail lights. Let me go back there and get a shot of that real quick. Those look like LED, right? They are. They are LED. Very, Very bright. Fun. Love them to death. Awesome. Now let's talk about your uh, ditch lights. Looks like you got yeah, no, uh, rough, some rough country. Yeah, rough country. We've had those on there for uh, for many years now. Um, yeah, there are no bad things to say about them. They they work every time and they work well. Uh, they 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 cast the light. They, these are in um, uh, a flood flood light, not a uh, not a spot, so it casts out beautifully. Nice. Um, antenna. I, I'm a ham operator, so I always have a ham my ham operator or my ham radio and a CB radio. Um, I don't have the antenna hooked up because uh, um, we just, when I changed out the bumper, I had to get a new mount. I haven't got that far awesome. yet. Uh, so uh, this is a curved 52 inch um, light bar. Uh, it, it lights up the night. 
Uh, I'm not sure on the brand of that. I don't, I don't remember. It might be the Rough Country as well, but okay. I bought them at the same time uh, years ago. And uh, just every year, um, every year we go to Moab, and every year we figure out a new a, a new upgrade. Um, nice. those, are just, those are some of the uh, some of the trails we've done. And this bracket, that's an aftermarket bracket. You, that is an uh, aftermarket light bar bracket. Uh, anybody that puts a light bar on, uh, they know uh, know that you have to put that on there to support it all. Yeah. Awesome. And it's a DV8 hood, by the way. Um, if, uh, um, DV8 hood? DV8, yep. That's very cool. And it uh, it really, really lets the heat out. Uh, that was the, the main reason, other than it looks really cool, the, yeah. the main reason was to keep the engine cool. Yes, uh, those... and we're going to talk about that special engine yeah. that you had done in Vegas, but first, let's just jump into the cab real quick and see okay. how you got your setup in All there. Right. So, uh, um, a big fan of Poison Spider, and this is a full uh, Poison Spider cage uh, on the inside here. Um, goes uh, all the way back we also have the B all the way the A pillars the B pillars the C pillars uh, poison this is a poison spider uh, rocker uh, rock guard as well uh, rocker panel very cool and you've got your uh, control switch here yeah, for your this, uh, switch pro um, very cool yeah we just uh, try to keep the inside as uh, as clean as we can but you know we like to uh, um run this thing with the doors off and the top off yeah so it gets so much dirt when we get home we'll just tear the whole thing down we just start cleaning on top and work our way to the bottom <laughs> because it's the only way to do it uh you can uh, you can tear, tear this thing into pieces and you'll find dirt from our original moab trip it, it doesn't matter we will continue to uh, do it. Uh, we enjoy it, and awesome. uh, it get fills up with dirt, and it's no big deal. Uh, the seats we have in here, the Corbo seats. Uh, these are the Baja X seats. Those are beautiful uh, seats. Extra wide and very comfortable. Um, got the harness. We got a, uh, the bar across the back as well to capture the harness, and it oh, goes yeah, from very uh, cool. B pillar to B pillar. It's got the bar right there. And then there's your CB. You got it set up right there. CB and the ham uh, radio is over you there. You got your ham up here. Yep. That is um, awesome. When the uh, uh, carpet was pulled out and I put it in these, um, oh shoot man, I don't remember the name of the of the, of the brand name of those uh, carpets, but uh, they have a... It's rubber flooring? Yes, uh, it has a, um, um, a, heat, a, a heat layer, a sound layer, and then the rubber uh, uh, protection for yeah, mud and stuff. It's easy cool. to clean, easy to clean. And back here, you've torn out the seats because you got three full-size German Shepherds. I have three full-size German Shepherds, and so I took out the, the rear seat, and uh, I built a platform, and I covered it in, in uh, marine-grade carpet. Yeah. Uh, so, the, so the doggos got something to hook their nails to. Let's open it up. I know that it's full of hair. Everybody, he has three full-size German Shepherds. I'm sure we can forgive the hair. Let's look at what he's done. Oh, well, it, it, now no, we're, we're right in the middle of this tree, so it is packed. <laughs> Completely packed. That's okay. We'll still be able to see the the platform that you built. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Hi, doggos. You weren't kidding about being packed. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, we have these uh, element uh, fire extinguishers. Uh, one on each side. I have. I uh, usually carry four fire extinguishers in a first aid kit uh, because when you're out in the middle of no place, you are a first responder. <laughs> you're okay. It's okay. Yeah. He's like you're in pin Rio, Rio is uh, on guard, man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like you're duty. invading my space. <laughs> you forgot about all the ear scratches I gave you earlier. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't talk about the fenders. Uh, no, a, lot of guys about upgrade, a lot of guys upgrade the fenders, and this is just a, uh, a fender cut. Um, I took uh, the, um, and cut these fenders and then put some trim over them. Nice. Uh, uh, and that gave me about an extra two inches of clearance um, on the flex without doing a single thing. Awesome. So um, very cool. Sid did the same same I thing did on the, the same, front. Same thing on the front. Uh, right on the right on the radius of where the fender goes down. That's where you cut it. It's very a very easy modification, and to clean it up, let make it look nice. Put door trim on it, and uh, adds a nice little finish to it. That's awesome. Well, is there anything we haven't covered? 
Um, no. Uh, these are these are aftermarket. Well, yeah, that's just a, that's a little insert. Uh, you, these come in colors, so you can color mash or whatever. Yeah, and cool. uh, I got them in just a raw aluminum, and um, and they're they're showing their age. We've yeah. had it on there a long. They time. still look good though. We have, uh, you know, uh, we've been chipping away at this build since we bought it uh, in 2013. Awesome. Custom fuel cap looks like. Yep, this is Drake fuel cap. Uh, <laughs> Drake. Um, hood latches as well. Let's talk about your air system real quick. Okay. So you're using an ARB uh, and it's always hooked up and you have it underneath the seat, right? I do. Now, um, I have uh, plumbed in quick disconnects on each side of the Jeep. So when, uh, when you go to air up, uh, it comes out in a T. And so this side of the Jeep will air up these two tires. And this side will air up on those sides. Right here behind this uh, innovative JK product is the twin ARB I see the blue. Uh, compressor. Yeah, I see the blue of the ARB in there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can catch it from the other side, but uh, let me see. In the front, you might be able to see it from the front. I'm going to try. And uh, you were telling me that it actually doubles as a seat warmer, too. It, well, <laughs> it, it gets hot. When I'm airing up these 40s, it gets really hot. Um, if, if you can imagine. Well, when we did when we did the uh, the um, the Morflate. Yeah. It was over 200 degrees, exactly. so I imagine that's a nice seat warmer there. Exactly. So I have put a I have put a uh, insulated blanket of uh, uh, of insulation <laughs> between the compressor and the bottom of the seats, awesome. just in case. Uh, one of the things that you might have noticed is I have all these ram mounts. So on this cage, I just drilled and tapped quarter twenty, so you can put ram mounts all every place you need to have a ram mount or a, a camera mount or a phone mount or your GPS mount. You can uh, just drill a little quarter inch hole, tap it, and and thread in a. That's awesome. A, a and you got mount. all these mounts all the way around that you've put in. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, okay. I think that we've covered just about everything, and now the special surprise that's underneath the hood. The moment you've all been waiting for. But before <laughs> we show them, tell the story of what made you send this Jeep. To Las Vegas. Okay, so um, back probably three or four years ago, we found out about Motec down in Vegas, and uh, we thought that uh, at some point we would need to upgrade our engine. Uh, as we keep building this Jeep, it keeps getting heavier. The tires get bigger, and it's a brick, and it goes down the it goes down the road like a brick. And uh, uh, it rides beautifully. Now, don't get me wrong there. All of the, uh, all the upgrades we made, this thing drives like a, a Cadillac, and you, and you can steer it with one finger now. But, uh, but as we go along uh, down this trail, um, we thought that would be the way to go. So last year, we were coming right here to the spot, uh, to the swell, and, uh, and the engine just gave up, gave up the ghost. So um, we had to have this shipped to Las Vegas last, uh, well, it was uh, sometime at the middle of last year. Um, it's a six month waiting list. So, uh, you know, if there's something that uh, you might think about, what Vega, what, what Motec does is they put Chevy running gear in a Jeep. Uh, not just any uh, any running gear. They do have some LSs left over, but they have the Gen 5 LT1s, the, the, the stuff you run in the Corvettes, the supercharged stuff. They have, uh, the stuff in the Camaros and the Sierra pickups, and it's all uh, the whole running gear is General Motors. Um, so you, you not only do you have the engine that is a General Motors engine, it's a 10-speed automatic transmission. Uh, it is a Jeep transfer case, uh, new drive shafts, um, Adams drive shafts. By the way, we didn't uh, talk about uh, the drive shafts. Um, and uh, the, uh, they just specialize in it. They've been doing this since 20, uh, 2006. Uh, just the hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, these conversions. So I was very confident in, in, uh, their, uh, in their whole process. They take the body off. They strip out your old running gear. They steam clean the whole thing, weld up anything that needs to be welded up. They put in a new engine, a 
transmission, the headers, the all the exhaust is heat wrapped. Uh, it's, it's just a, it's a beautiful thing. Awesome. A new radiator, a new battery battery box, and they have a uh, module. Their their proprietary module can bus that talks from the General Motors ECU to the Jeep GC ECU, so everything works seamlessly. If you want to hit the cruise control, it works. Wipers work. Blinkers work. There's nothing on here that doesn't work. It's awesome. uh, it was amazing. Awesome. They, but I had to wait six months on the list, and then they had it probably another three months. Yeah. Well, with that, let's pop the open let's this open hood and, uh, and show what you've done. <laughs> so there it is. It's a Gen 5 LT1 with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The factory, uh, factory spec is 470 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque, but uh, with the unrestricted intake and the headers and the um, uh, everything, we're right at about 500 horsepower. Beautiful. 500 foot-pounds of torque. Beautiful. This is just amazing. Corvette engine. Powering a Jeep. Amazing. And it fits in there. It, it fits. Does. That's that's what shocks me. It does. We okay. could have uh, we could have actually went with the supercharger as well. Woo! Listen, fire this bad boy up. Let's show these guys what this sounds like. I'll tell you what, I was so stoked to see this thing working and it, it's been running beautifully and you just don't expect us to hear sounds like that coming out of a Jeep, do you? No, no. I, uh, most people, uh, most people say the first thing they ask me is, "Hey, you got a 392 in that?" <laughs> and no, yeah. I, I mean, sorry, all you Hemi guys, uh, <laughs> but uh, this is a much more refined engine. Uh, continuous variable valve timing, uh, the direct fuel injection on every cylinder. Um, it just, uh, it just runs so nice, and it's just, it's. It runs rowdy, is like is yeah. what I like to call it. It's just a rowdy. It has jump. everything that you need, especially pulling that that trailer that you have, right? Oh, yes, and it, it will it will smoke the tires. I don't doubt it. I don't <laughs> doubt, I'd like to see that though. <laughs> Smoking the tires, forty inch tires, that would be pretty cool. Well, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. You can find him on uh, Call of the Wild Adventure on Instagram. And they'll be uh, starting to put videos on their YouTube channel down the road. Um, but give them a follow because you don't see many setups like exactly like this and running the road with three full-size German Shepherds. They've absolutely been awesome. And with that, we're done here. <laughs>